Hello there, and welcome to episode 2 of uh, Let's Play Rising World. And today we will make some clothes. And uh, I have al already, uh, already made sure I won't delay this process. I throw, threw away my old rags. And I made a spinning wheel. But I need to make some more stuff. Crafting stations. And uh, here I just made a spinning wheel. But we also need uh, a tanning rack. And we need a loom. And to make a loom, we need to make an anvil. Because the loom uh, requires uh, four iron rods. So let's uh, let's set up uh, all of uh, our uh, let's set up our work area here. There's the skinning rack and uh, here's our spinning wheel. Um, our anvil let's just place that one we're gonna need that close to the metals so let's just play place that here for now Remember all all of this is temporarily. This is not going to look like this. We are going to put all of this into a house. So we're just putting it outside for now. And we needed four iron rods for uh, for uh, a loom. Then, then we need to make an iron plate first, and then four iron rod of that iron plate, and let's go and make a loom, and then we actually got quite a few of uh, the things we need. The paper press, if we got time for it, we will make it. But uh, first and foremost, we will be making uh, clothes here today. And we will make the best possible clothes we can. And now, this... Uh, this process of making uh, I need to keep that weapon up in just in case and in or order to make uh, cloth we need to make thread and the only way to make thread is to make uh, uh, one and one thread by holding in the right mouse button until it reaches 100% and then we have used two wool
and 100 percent and now we have used now we have made two tread wheels but we need to make all this so uh, I'll go go uh, off camera so you don't have to watch all of this but I will make all of that wool into tread don't you worry about that so I see you in a while like in uh, half an hour or so now we have made uh, two two stacks into uh, into tread just need this two last wool in order to make one more spool of tread and we need something to drink and we need something to eat and it seems like we need to sleep a bit Oh no, it's rain. I think we have to uh, remove the loom over to the campfire or else uh, we're going to met get mighty cold. We have to remove this small shelter as well, a bit away. It's thundering and uh, It's an awful weather today. So let's place the loom by the campfire. Um, like this. So we can make sure that we can continue our work uninterrupted and then we are continuing there we go finally finally we are done with uh, about half the wool I collected and now I'm mightily hungry so uh, let's have a pork shop or two uh, seems like no we need another one and then we need to drink ah oh, that was good when uh, my timer <laughs> has uh, has been going on for uh, whoops for an hour or so but uh, don't think I'm finished already uh, I still got these so let's start with uh, the, the cow skins should we fortunately uh, the skins are not uh, are not that slow to uh, to make. Um, where's where's our where's uh, our skinning? Oh, oh, it's over here. Um, um, We have to remove this tanning rack over to the fire. There. Um, like that. And like 
that and like that and then we get our skinning knife and I won't bother about the clock until I finish with uh, all of this because you don't have to look at all of this either it takes quite a while to do and this this is the normal speed but I can speed it up by clicking but my fingers are, go are going to uh, hurt quite a bit if I do that So I see you when I've done with, with all my skins. Okay, we are we are at our last uh, last pelts. I got two polar bear pelts here, and uh, I've had lots of uh, goat skins and pig hides, but those only. Those only gave me four leather, no two leather each. So let's see if uh, these these skins are much larger. So let's see if I get more leather of them. Yeah, four leather. And here's another bear, a brown bear. I guess that would be four ladder too. Yeah, that's four ladder too. And then we are finished making wool into reels of thread and uh, all our skins into uh, leather but uh, as you see there's not much leather it's not nearly as much as I hoped it would be so uh, I'm not sure if it will be enough or what let's just move this loom over to uh, to the campsite as well Now what I want is to make clot and max that's 64 64 64 64 and then let's see a top uh, we don't want more rags no we want a military jacket but that also need uh, 8 iron plates let's see at the pants military pants that need 2 iron plates um, one more time 2 and uh, and 8, that's 10 and we need uh, we need shoes those we can make straight away but boy are, are we using uh, ladder on these things no we should stop freezing just by having those boots but let's make t 10 iron plates One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we should have enough for 
for the military jacket and um, and and uh, yeah we need one of these as well a tent and then military jacket it's not it doesn't give uh, as much insulation as the winter jacket, but it does give 100 protection. And protection is uh, nice to have. Military pants, 50 protection. And. Um, It's about the same as uh, Knight's Armor, but if we also add uh, um, Iron Helmet, no, uh, Ballistic Helmet, that's 100 protection, but then we need 16 Iron Plates. We probably need some more iron now. Sixty two, three, four, five, six, six. There. Ballistic helmets. And now, finally, let's get dressed. And uh, this one got 100 protection. 100 protection, that's 200. 50 protection. Can't I get my shoes off? Fifty protection, so three hundred protection. Let's see compared to uh, to armor. It's this. It's the same as uh, full. Uh, Full uh, knight's armor with 128 iron plates, so clearly it got advantages. But uh, we could need a saddle as well because we want a horse. So let's see, we need uh, 8 iron rod. And saddle bag, four iron rod, so twelve iron rods. And we need to make uh, one iron plate gives. Um, Four iron rods, so uh, uh, there we go. Twelve. Oh, I forgot. We need need one more. And plates. To get 
four more iron rods. And then we got saddle bags and a saddle and some uh, leftover iron rods. But uh, now that I'm uh, all modern with my clothes and got uh, some uh, and got a new tent and everything. By the way, it's time to use that new tent. And uh, toss it in the water. Because now we got some better quality sleeping uh, equipment. Great. Hmm, gear. What does that mean? Okay, so we can store things in uh, in the tent. That's pretty useful when when uh, heading on long expeditions and uh, the sort. But let's uh, just sleep for now. Let's have some more food. Uh, that's not the place for food. Here, here the food is. Yep, one hundred. And uh, now I want a weapon. And I wonder if I can make a musket. That would be beyond awesome. But I'm not sure if I got enough um, tungsten. Okay, we need uh, 32 iron rods and 32 tungsten ro rods. And that means um, eight of each, doesn't it? There's our tungsten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An iron rod. Let's max those. That's thirty two. And uh, tungsten plate. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, max 32. Great, it seems like we have enough for uh, a rifle. No, a musket. The, the repeater needs aluminum, aluminum rods, but the clips need sulfur. And sulfur is really, really deep, and I haven't found that a trace of sulfur. So let's make a musket, and let's make uh, um, that's a bit much. Um, Actually, we didn't use that much uh, uh, tungsten. Uh, we get four bullets of each, and uh, I think there's uh, 
in the ammo slot there's room for 32 in each so that would mean uh, not 100 but um, Yes, it would mean, no, 32 plus 32 is 64, it would mean, uh, yeah, let's just make uh, 144 musket balls, and then we got 16 extra. <coughs> and now, we are ready for, to do some hunting. But first, I want to make uh, the paper press. And now it's time to put on the timer again. And I won't, uh, won't let it uh, use 30 minutes. What was I looking for? Um, not weapons, but um, uh, crafting stations and a uh, paper press, 16 iron plates and 64 lumber, okay. There's 32 lumber, and if we grab some more um, crafting resources, lumber max, no, that's 64. Well, let's just make 64. We probably need a lumber for something else. And 16 iron plates. Great. And we got the, the paper press. Oh no, I forgot to to look through all of the variants. Grinding station. Granny stone, sweet or the materials. I will ha will have to look into that until the next. Um, Oh, I want one of those, but I want the hose before uh, I use that much stone. Um, a block bench. That we are going to need sooner or later, so let's grab some more. Let's just place down... Uh, this uh, paper press and then we need some more lumber and by the way we need a bucket as well a bucket of water uh, is that miscellaneous perhaps? Uh, no utilities. Fishing rod. Oh, need thread reels. Um, buckets, metal, four iron plates.
Good thing I've been walking a lot off cam, or else this would never have been possible. Um, uh, yeah, the block bench. Resources, number, let's max, max that out. And crafting station. Because the block bench, that's where we make, um, that's where we make to craft uh, building blocks and where to place the block bench P perhaps next to the crafting table like this like that yeah and then we need our buckets, and we already got it in the inventory. There, we got some water. And then we need some cloths, because we actually make paper from cloth as well. Then you squish it, and then pour some water over it. And then we squish it again, and then we have paper. And what do we need to make a map? We need paper. Great! Now we got lots of things done in this episode. So let's uh, let's pack down everything we don't need here. And uh, bring the saddle. Uh, and let's bring the extra bullets as well but uh, yeah we had this chest strange we have, we have uh, almost used this entire chest it was almost filled to the brim almost used that in one episode but then again, if if I run the whole episode, it will last uh, probably a couple of hours. So let's not do that. I will do some clipping. And by some clipping, I mean pre pretty, pretty much clipping. And... Uh, Iron rod should be put in the metal. And the tools should be in this chest along with the other tools. And wood. Warhammer, we don't need anymore really. Need to bring the sights. That's always handy to have. But I don't think we need a bucket along. But let's keep those extra bullets. Now we can press M. 
And here we see our area. And look over here. Let's go check it out. And uh, keep keep our eyes open for a horse. Isn't this pretty? Or what? Let's get a panorama view of it. And and I don't only got that growth. I also got um, another grove over here with uh, apple trees. old apples let's head down out in the frost here to see not getting cold hmm, what's that no not a torch on the side oh it's only sugar beets Okay, some more cotton. And the final grow is up here. I could hear a horse right now. And this one got cherry trees. I haven't haven't found that many cherry trees. So it doesn't got that many trees yet but I will fill it up just like the one down there and these are great landmarks because they surround the camp let's check our map now you see that coming from this direction then we could see the palm grow and here's the here's the cherry grove and here's the apple grove and here's let's uh, but let's go find a horse let's put away that as well as that and munch some apples while we are searching for a horse and we want a beautiful horse some wool these brown horses are are a bit boring but we can always change it out now look at this compared to uh, sh shopping at them the only thing is the reloading takes quite a bit of time Oh, that wasn't my intention. There's only this. Uh... Oh, there's a grey horse. Let's put away this rifle before anyone gets hurt. <laughs> oh, this this was beautiful. Look at the way it's walking. It's got style. It's got swagger. Uh, 
saddle. Yeah. And uh, saddle bags. Great. And that's how to get access to the saddle bags. There. Let's fill the saddle bags with uh, f the fruit and wedges we have found, and the meat and. Uh, Let's just put everything in here that we don't need. Oops, did I drop a bullet now? That will be impossible to find again. But never mind the bullets, we can make new ones. This is life, or what? Here's some uh, some more cotton plants. An escape to uh, oh, here's some moose. Let's have, head over to that moose, uh, my sturdy steed. And we'll also get some uh, antlers. Here's something as well. Potato. Ah, oh, this is life. This is steel life. Riding around, being free. Let's go polar bear hunting or what? That's a penguin. Surely it is. We can't kill a penguin. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, here's an apple tree. Where did, did the penguin go? Sure, we got the rifle loaded. As you see, it takes some time, and it's not a rifle, it's a musket. Mm. Where's the rest of the tree? Let it roll down here. Oh, here it is. Are there any saplings? Not that I can see. Those moose are making quite a noise. Let's go find some polar bear. Oh, there's the penguin again. He's trying to run away from us. Any polar bears around? We should probably stay clear of that dense wood. 
There's a cave. I wonder what kind of tree this is. It looks a bit like a... Like a maple. Yeah, it was a maple. And the rest of it fell down there. Oh, there's the penguin again. Here it's even called for uh, our tick ins insulation horses. Here's some uh, aluminium. Hmm. Quite a lot of caves around here. And this area is pretty large. Oh, look at this view. thought I heard something. This is quite beautiful. Screenshots. Let's... Uh, let's take the other way around this forest. And see if we can find any polar bears to hunt. I think I'll bring some saplings from these trees. These are spruce, I believe. be easy to see any green saplings there we go two saplings there Pretty scared of uh, of suddenly become jumped by a boar, no, a, a bear, and then uh, and then uh, fire off a shot in surprise. It's mighty cold here. It's nothing me and uh, my sturdy white horse can't handle, is it? Can it jump, by the way? Yeah, a little. It 
least it can run. Oh, that zone. In Norwegian, we got lo lots of words of for different types of snow. This this snow is uh, is uh, cr crumb snow. When it makes that squeaking sounds, it's very good to make snowballs and uh, snowmen and uh, the likes. Oh, we are going in a completely wrong direction. This was a very dead area. What's stopping us? That's another maple tree. Is that an apple tree? It looks like it. It seems like they don't give any saplings here in the frozen uh, areas. And now we are starting to get some damage by all this uh, freezing area. If if we had had our rags, S stop that. Like a bug. Okay, we have used all our time and um, gotten ourselves lost. But um, this should be the way back. No. Even more this direction. Hey, here's a house. An old shack. That's a nice surprise to in the end of uh, the video. And a chest and a piano too. That's great. Old table. That's a bit too old for my tastes. This uh, old piano. Anything awesome? A water skin. Another sight. And arrow. Well, we got the piano. And a shear and a shelf. That's great. I'm still in the right direction. Nope. But I will leave you here and find a way back on my own. And uh, oh, that was close. And I will use uh, my musket if I see any polar bear. It's, it's just a shame that uh, we didn't happen to see any while we were out there. We are a long way from home. It's in this uh, this direction. But I see you. Uh, I see you next time. I see you in episode three. Okay, is that a deal? And 
as before, if you got any questions or uh, suggestions, please uh, let me know. Okay.